Welcome back to my channel of learning. And today's episode, we'll learn about research instrument. So are you now ready? Let's get started and learn together. So what is a research instrument? So a research instrument is a tool used to collect, measure, and analyze data related to your research interest. So these tools are widely and commonly used by many researchers and probably the best way to come up with a reliable and concrete results of a certain problem. This might include different ways on how to conduct it. This may include tests, surveys, interviews, and checklists. So if you are sure with your research problems or your research title now, or your research title, title I mean, has been approved by your advisor, you yourself, you yourself, I mean, as a researcher, has the right and knowledgeable enough to choose your instruments. So here's my version of creating and making writing your instruments, the easy steps. First is plan your research instrument. So once you have done with your research method, it is now a high time for you to plan for your research instrument. Second, define your concepts and construct your instruments. So this means that you need to decide in what kind of instruments are you going to use. Third, determine the procedures. So meaning you need to know in which uh, the research instru instrument will be applied. Is it suitable to your research participants or not? Example, if you use survey, is it applicable to your respondents? This is now where your uh, collection strategy of data is the primary concern. Fourth, perform a pilot study. When we say pilot test or study, it is just a small study to test research protocols, uh, data collection, of instruments, sample, uh, sample recruitment strategies in other research techniques and preparation for a larger study. In short, this would somehow a precautionary way to know if your instrument needs to adjust its contents, procedures and techniques, perhaps a validation in nature and an experimental trial that would uh, test how your project might work in practice. Next, fifth is the data collection. So the data collection, you are now going to collect data whether you decided to use experiments, um, controlled observations, surveys, uh, paper, QS mobile questionnaires, or, or longitudinal studies, polls, telephone interviews, or even the face-to-face -face interviews. So you are going to use to collect the data out of these instruments that you will be using. Next is preparation of data to be analyzed and um, process. So make sure to gather and prepare relevant data from reliable sources also and clean those are not related to. Seven, process and analyze data. After cleaning and preparing the data, you have now meaningful insights from it. Uh, with the techniques and in analyzing data, it is now time for you to, to look for uh, hidden patterns and relationships and find insights and predictions. Eight, this is now the time to interpret and make inferences about the data you gathered. Is there a process of using data analysis to infer properties of an underlying distribution of probability? And the ninth, write the research paper. And lastly, we have you need now to publish your data. Now, there are types of research instruments. So a research interview 
involves an interviewer who coordinates the process of the conversation in ask questions and an interviewee who responds to those questions. So that's the meaning of interview. And all know, and I know that all of you, all of us know already what is interview. So let's start with the first um, types of research, which is the interview. Under the interview, we have the structured interview. When we say structured, this simply means that it is a formal set of questions posed to each interviewee and recorded using a standardized procedure. Let's next is the unstructured interview, also called a non-directive interview. So the interviewer who is a researcher modifies the sequence, structured in wording of questions. Refer it refers to a an interview concept without any set of format in which questions are not predetermined so that the lack of structure enables the interviewer to ask questions which come to his or her mind on the spot, unstructured, so mock, on the spot interview, non-directive. And of course, the last here we have the focus group interview. So the focus group consists of a small group of people, uh, usually between six and nine number, who are brought together by a by a researcher, by a moderator, to explore attitudes and and perceptions, feelings, and ideas about a topic. Now let's go to the types of research instruments and their observations. So the first there is the naturalistic observation. And I know all of us, all, all of you are familiar with observation. So a way to gather data by watching people, uh, events, or not noting physical characteristics in a natural setup. So let's start with the naturalistic observation, which is the first one, which occurs directly in the environment where the phenomenon occurs. So the researcher there simply records what they see in whatever what they see in the context, in the social environment or the natural set up or natural setting. Next, structured observations. So researchers do not observe in the natural setting, but instead in a lab or a simulated environment, observe in a standardized procedure, it's structured, it is planned. Next, participant observation. So here researchers actively participate in the study itself. In short, researchers are studying to get a deeper meaning, perspectives, insights into their lives out of out of the context, out of the study they they out of the study they have researched. Now, let's go to the types of research instrument survey. Uh, survey is a, a kind of a questionnaire or a response item posed to a respondent. So let's have first the free answer. So we say free answer that is uh, has another call and that is a, a open-ended questions. These include unrestricted essay and guide questions, meaning to say it's free. The, 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 the respondents are free to answer uh, anything. Now, the second one is guide response type. So it's a guided response from the word guide, you are guiding a response. So it is where you are asking the participant to recall a set of categories, be it either a multiple choice or uh, yeah, a multiple choice response questions. So in my next video episode, feel free to comment on the topics or what topics that you want me to make and I'll make it for you in my list of episodes. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. And I hope that you have learned in this channel, learning today as we have 
embark into the uh, research instrument. God bless everyone and thank you for watching.